Right. Good evening, guys. This session, we discussed a program to fetch all words starts with consonant and ends with the vowel, right? Vowel, guys. See, till now, all the programs we have discussed the, the same format at almost first for loop, uh, then if condition, then uh, that result uh, appending to the new list, right? Okay, so here the for loop and if condition at last expression, right? These three take in separate lines, for loop separate line, if a separate line, and uh, this expression separate line. Okay, right. Now we can take these three in a single line also. The for loop, if condition, and expression these three you can take in the single line also. That is called comprehension. That is called the, that is called the comprehension, guys. Okay, uh, comprehension, comprehension. The comprehension, first we take the for loop. First we take the, we take the for loop, for loop, space, the same line, space, we take uh, which one, uh, if condition, we take the we take the if condition if condition okay if condition and next uh, the expression we take in the beginning uh, the expression we take here the expression we take the expression here the output we take in the list format right if you see we are taking separate list object uh, empty list uh, for that one uh, appending the data right okay so for that one we can take here just a square brackets can take the square brackets. So this is called comprehension. Comprehension. If the square brackets are uh, uh, called the uh, list comprehension. Initially, these three parts called comprehension. With the square brackets, it's called the uh, list comprehension. List uh, comprehension. If you write the tuple function, that's called the uh, tuple comprehension. If you write the curly braces, that is called the uh, set comprehension, like that. We have different types of comprehensions. Okay. Now, the same program, I'll show you how to make in the single line, guys. How to make in the single line. Okay. Let us try. Let us try now. So, this is the given data, right? Just I'm going to comment the entire, entire the program. Yes, comment the entire one. Okay. Now, just observe here. Just only string is taken. The string is taken. Right now, the string uh, I am going to split. I am going to split where our space is there. Result of this one, what guys? That we know, right? Result of this one. So print off, uh, print off. Uh, I just print this one to get the result, right? A list of all the words. List of all the words. List of uh, all the words. <coughs> Right, you can see now, this is the result of what? Result of the just split, uh, result of the split, right? Just guys observe all of you. Okay. Now, what is this? This is the right list. Okay, list, right? On this list, uh, on this list, uh, I'm taking the for loop, right? For loop. Uh. So for I in uh, this list, uh, for I in list, uh, for I in uh, list, what is the list? Uh? This list, right? This list. So for i in list, so what's the first time i value? First time i value is the first element that is a Python. That is Python, right? Python. Now in the Python, we have to check the first word must be first letter must be consonant, and the last one must be vowel, right? Last must be vowel. Okay. So now we'll take the if condition. So for loop, for loop. Then next word is there here, if a space, if is there. Now take the space uh, if that i of zero, that okay, i of, i write i of zero must not be where, must not be in the vowel side, a, e, a, e, i, o, u. And uh, i of minus one, right, the last, last character, i of minus one, the last character, must be available in the vowels, okay? A E I O U, A E I O U. All of right. So for loop over, then if condition over, if condition over. So if any word satisfies this if condition, 
that word i want display so that word take the expression the beginning only expression so here that word that i append into the list right empty list similar also that i append into the empty list now take the list here i am taking the list format to get the result in the list format okay so we just add a print here i am going to take now this uh, print uh, that's all now let me run this one you can see same uh, simple and uh, language right now you can check you can check let me remove the comment from the above program also let us try now this is the normal program this is the comprehension right comprehension now uh, both will give the same result guys right? you can see now both giving the okay same same result right now let us see the execution flow of the comprehension execution flow of the comprehension we will discuss now okay it's also same same process first what is happening first for loop executing so first time i value that i going to if condition check the condition if condition is true append that i to the new list right like that it iterates same here also guys okay now all of you observe here right so first always the for loop is good sir first for loop is good right first okay for loop is good sir all of you so i'll do one thing guys to make it simple to make it simple this one i am going to take here just observe right now just guys observe now. so let us try the execution flow of uh, this comprehension guys okay so always as we know that uh, first for loop executes right first always uh, for loop executes uh, then uh, if condition if condition is optional actually it is optional okay and uh, this uh, okay expression is there first uh, so for i in uh, list right uh, output of this one is list right which list guys this list is the result of what uh, the split uh, okay that's why from there we get one by one what is first time i will coming here first time uh, python right first time i value is python python okay now what is i value i value python then the python going to here going to if condition what's coming now python right okay so it's coming uh, python first time coming right huh so in python uh, i of 0 is not in the vowels check it now i of 0 not in the vowels yes correct and uh, i of minus 1 uh, in the vowels means the uh, last one in the vowels no it's wrong means uh, so first one true second one false right false guys so true and false uh, means false finally the if is false guys finally if is false uh, if if is false uh, that value will be skipped that will be skipped like this just imagine that uh, python right are skipping uh, over one loop over next uh, what second one here next one is uh, next one right is is coming uh, now i value is the is then it's going to if condition what's coming now is right okay now is is coming what's coming now is okay now in the is uh, i of 0 i is the is right i of zero means i so that i must uh, not in the vowels uh, true or false false because i is the vowel right but i'm saying that not in the vowels it's false so already false is there and the second uh, yes uh, in vowels uh, false so false and false uh, false only right this will also skip right this is also this is also skipping uh, right next one uh, next time i value what here simple next i value simple simple assign to i then going to the if condition if condition now it's coming now simple right okay simple coming up now i value simple right i value simple string now i of zero means what here yes sir okay yes sir yes not in the vowel sir yes correct it is the true understa i of minus 1 in the vowel sir what's minus 1 e e in the vowel sir yes true true and true is the true means finally if is the true right final if is the true if if is the true if if is the true then uh, that uh, 
I value we are taking in the expression guys. I will come in here. Here, no other logic. Just uh, taking the I as it is, right? Now, just imagine that I that I taking here. What's I value now? I value right uh, simple. That's all. Over. Ah, uh, what next coming now? Next one uh, under, right? And is coming, guys. Next one now. Uh, and is coming here, and, and is coming, then I is the, and then undergoing to the if condition. Okay, now what's coming here, and right, and is coming. Okay, and is coming here. Now I have zero, not in the vowels. I have zero what here, A. So A, not in the vowels, no, it's false. And uh, I have minus one in the vowels, uh, means D in the vowels, uh, false. False and false, uh, false only. Okay, that means uh, this i value will skip. Uh, means that under is skipping, not going to the expression, right? Huh. Next one, uh, easy coming, okay? Easy coming here. Now i is the, i value is the easy. Then going to the if condition, what's coming here? Easy, right? Which one, uh, right? Easy coming. Now i of zero means e not in the vowels, uh, not in the vowels. Uh. It's false. Why it's available, right? It's a false, guys. So next, uh, I have minus one in the vowel, sir. Means what here? Why? Why in the vowel, sir? True or false, sir? It's also false. So false and false, sir. False and false, sir. False, right? So then, uh, then what is happening here? This one also skipping, right? They're all skipping, guys, here. So what happened now? Which one now? Okay, easy, right? Easy skipping, right? Skipping, guys. Right. Next one. Next one is uh, are coming here. Language coming, right? It's language coming. I value is the language. Now I going to the if condition. What's coming now? Language, right? Okay. Language. Now I have zero what here? Yell. Yell. Not in the vowels. Yes. L not in the vowels, right? It is true. It is true. Next, uh, I have minus one in the vowels. Uh. What's minus one? Uh, e. E in the vowels. Uh. Yeah, it is true, right? It is true. So true and true is the true, right? It is the true. Means finally, if condition is the true. If it is true, going to the expression, what is there here? Just uh, only I is there. That, uh, okay, is adding here, guys, right? Language, okay? What's happening here, right? Language, guys. The codes are the language, right? Now, any other word is there? All words are right, no other word. Uh, then what happens here? These two come in the result, right? Result uh, for those uh, we are taking the square brackets, right? We are taking the square brackets to get in the list format. Uh, so the result uh, come in the list format, list format. That's what printing. Uh, so print function is there. It will print in the result, guys. So finally, the result is a uh, Result is a list of which one are simple, simple, okay, and uh, language, right? Language, that's all. These two are having a starting the vowel, consonant, ending vowel, starting consonant, ending vowel, okay? So you can observe here the difference between uh, the normal program, the normal program with a number of words. And uh, a comprehension, guys, right? A comprehension in a single line. Okay. So now onwards, now onwards, uh, okay, well, we'll do both the uh, normal program and the uh, consonant, guys, for a few examples. Later, we'll go with the uh, only comprehension, only, guys, right? Only comprehension. Alafu. If you want to get, uh, uh, if you want to get the comprehension very easily, you must know this flow very well. If you know the program flow very well, then writing the comprehension is very, very easy, guys. That's why next two, three programs we do both the normal program and the comprehension. Later, okay, we try to do always which one, the comprehension, wherever it is possible. And one more thing is, so comprehension always not possible, guys, right? Uh, suppose uh, if any logic is there, if any program is there, for everything, uh, this normal program is possible. For every problem, this is possible. Normal, right? But comprehension is possible. Okay, some simple, uh, simple calculations only, or simple logics only. That's why. So wherever possible, we try to use the uh, comprehension of one words. Okay, right. So thank you so much, Allah, guys. Uh,
we'll see next example with both comp uh, combination and uh, normal program. Thank you all of you guys. Bye.